What it do, once again, it is your man with the plan. Oh, I can keep the band. I am behind camera again. This is the local black small business spotlight. I have here my dear sister. Y'all know her as Crown by Key. I know her as Keat. <laughs> this is her story. She's going to be giving basically her background, uh, the conception of uh, her business. Uh, the type of support that she had and any other pointers that she has for any other entrepreneurs that are looking to you know get into business and we're actually um i'm actually interviewing her at her own brunch where she's going to be highlighting a lot of these things so can you go ahead and introduce yourself to me hello i'm kimaria spencer <laughs> um known as crown by king um i'm a hairstylist located here in dallas texas and yeah. Um, um. Okay. Okay. So, Keith, what? Where? Where? Where did this idea start? Uh, well, I didn't really um, understand the concept of a, a business when I was younger. So I just like had a passion for it, um, like dolls, you know, like stuff like that. I always wanted to do my own hair. Um, Maybe around when I was like in middle school, my mom first started letting me like experiment with my own hair, and I started doing my hair and like my classmates' hair, and it went from there really. Um, but when I like look back on like the history of where it came from, my grandmother, my great grandmother, actually owned a salon in Dallas, and she did hair. So I'm assuming maybe it just it's generational. Yeah. Okay. 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 So um, as far as the, like the financial aspect and backing of it like how did um, how did you go about doing that did you just like work like a regular nine to five until you know just bought little pieces until you okay. do this so like I said I didn't know that this could be a career I was just doing it because I like doing it so like when I was a, a freshman in high school I was on the dance team and they required for every um everybody to have their hair a certain way mm -hmm. so I would do my whole team's hair without charging like I didn't know that it was supposed to be like charged but my mom was like hold on a minute you ain't gonna be doing all these people here and not charging so I started off charging like $35 for a so and um that's where so I really never had a job I never I had a job once when I was like 16 I worked at Waterbury for about a month but yeah that was that was all I needed yeah flipping burgers yeah. wasn't for you it was flipping yeah. weeds yeah that's what it was for you. <laughs> all right so as far as um hair you know it's you know, us men, we don't know much about it. We only know kind of how much it costs. Yeah. Uh, what are all the different things that can be done with a woman's head that, um, that, that men think we know about, but we really don't know nothing? It's it's a lot. Um, it's a lot of different areas of cosmetology that I don't work in. I specialize in, like, weaving and extension, which it kind of goes hand-in-hand -hand with braiding. But... Um, go from wigs to like micro links which are like little pieces of hair that's put in to a scalp mm. um it's clippings it's tape hair it's all kind of stuff but i specialize in um, weaving um c coloring the weave a wig making i make the wigs on a sewing machine mm. and um just sew-ins quick weaves wigs lace fronts out it they go into weaves. Okay, so how much is the ticket if somebody, you know, per se wanted to just come just straight out, ah, I want to buy a weave? Like, okay, it, okay. How, how do they So go? we start off with, so I supply hair, a raw Cambodian hair. So, hold on, hold on, come out. So you do it and you supply it. Yeah. Oh, okay, all right. Y'all heard it, y'all heard it, y'all heard, heard, heard it, right? She do it and she supply it. All right, go ahead. So this is a natural wave of uh, Moroccan Cambodian hair, which is um, the purest form of hair. It's not a set texture. Like every bundle will have a different texture because it's raw from somebody's hair. Um, but I supply hair, which um, starts at $75, and that's for maybe like a 16 inch. Um, and it goes all the way up to 30. And I have different wave patterns and different um, colors or whatever. Um, so that's the hair price. So you gotta separate it. So it's the hair mm -hmm. price. You gotta get three bundles at least. 
in a lace or whatever, a closure, a front or whatever. So you got to start that's off with the hair. I'm good at math, all right. So that's the hair, and that's the shortest. Nobody really wears 16 inch hair. Oh, like okay. This. So, yeah. So we start here. It's, it started 75, 85, and go up to 130. Okay. Um, three bundles, three to four bundles. Um, and then I, I make the wigs on the sewing machine, as I stated earlier, and that's 250 for the wig construction. Mm. These wigs, you can wear them forever. Like it's the only thing that's wearing tear will be the closure or the lace, um, but the wig is built to last forever. All right. So again, I, I need to, I need to ask a question on behalf of the brothers. What exactly is a closure? The closure, the only, the only closure we know is the ones that we don't give women in relationships. <laughs> a closure is a piece of lace. It, the easiest way to explain it would be like a toupee. It's um, either four by four, five by five, six by six. And that's your measurement across and how far back it goes. Okay, okay. And then we have a frontal, which is across the frontal part of your forehead, which is a 13 by four, five or six. So it's ear to ear, and then it goes back four, five or six inches. So okay. for the closure, it's just a certain part, a, a piece of lace that okay. has hair tied into it, basically. So I have a re I have an even more pressing question. Uh, why have none of these people that's like on love and hip hop with all these bad wigs? Like, ooh, I think it was Carly Red with one. Yeah, I see, back in the day, it's just it. The evolution of hair is one of the. It's like one of the best businesses to be in because from back when our grandmamas was wearing wigs, we would think of a wig as like a old people. Old people style, yeah. Now everybody wear wigs. That probably the majority of the room got on a wig right now because it's easier. Right now we pay for convenience. We pay for being able to get our hair braids down, pop a wig on. Mm. Versus having to sit down, get your hair braided, get it sewn in or glued in. It's just it's more efficient for our lifestyle now. Okay, so how long did it take you to get as proficient as you are? Because I mean, it's just like how other people's professions, while they may have like been in school or been practicing something for 10 years, but it only take them 25 minutes to do a title. So like, how long? Yeah, um, I take a lot of classes. I invest a lot of money into learning new techniques because what I knew when I first started, I mean, it's, it, I use it, but it's not as useful as the stuff that I've taken classes for within the last like year or so. So um, I would say every year, I mean, I take, this year, in 2020 alone, I probably took like three classes, and that's during the pandemic. They was doing it over, you know, like a webinar or recording themselves and uploading it online. So I was doing everything from there because I just didn't want to be stagnant. We all know somebody who was popping back then and then it. fell off. It's because they didn't. They didn't say for the keep, You got to keep investing. You got to keep. You got to. It's, it's so many trends that come out every year. Like. Like the the frontals and stuff now, how detailed they are now is nowhere near as you know how they look years ago, even from the best of Can you get Hello. I'm not sure. I've never been there before, but it looked like it. You say two eleven. Just come up to the eighth floor. We on the eighth floor? Yeah. Yeah. Eight. Yeah. It's a lady. It's a lady out there that's opening the door for you because I didn't put no code in. And then you'll see me, your mama, when you come. Yeah. Yeah, we can do that because, you know, I do all my own and I can okay. pop all that out. <laughs> all right, so speaking of the pandemic, sounds like you had a pandemic. How did it affect um, you? So initially, I was, I was shook. Okay. You, anybody who know me knew, I was like, what? You know, you save up for emergencies and stuff, but. This has been a whole year now. Like, who would have imagined we was gonna be not working? So I was still trying to sneak into the shop, work, you know, whole park out court down here so nobody know we in here. <laughs> but um, the police start finding people. Like, they was coming in, like, hey, y'all still at work during this pandemic, then y'all gonna get fined a thousand dollars. So I'm like, okay, let me go home. Um, I think the time when I wasn't doing nothing, just sitting around, um, was probably like a month and a half of just not doing nothing. From a person who working like every day um but i am grateful for the pandemic because without it i wouldn't have i wouldn't have started selling hair like i have been talking about it for a long time but i never actually had time to sit down and and just you know write down everything and, and you know and do it so there was time we do that um, and by the time we started back working i did work from home 
for a few months uh, just because of the salon situation when everything closed down and it was a whole bunch that went into that. But um, as far as keeping business going during the pandemic, I like I said, I started um, I started selling hair and with that I could still sit at home and make wigs, post them up, you know, and still make money with them. People not, you know, not being able to come to the salon, they'll still come pick that wig up. Put it on itself because it's really easy. And yeah, now I'm really better off than I was before mm. the pandemic started because I had I had to be still. I w it wasn't no going out spending money every weekend. You know, we had to be still, and I had a chance to really invest my money into my business versus just spending frivolous. Okay, so. When it when it comes to how you see yourself, mm, let's just say by June, what what are your, what are your projections for your business by June? <sighs> I know you've been thinking about it. Yeah, I like to write down goals um, at the end of every year, beginning of every year. Um, the only thing that I could really within like what's that six months for me? Mm -hmm. uh, a six month goal for myself would be. Um, be more consistent with um, my content on my social media because that's what a lot of my clients sell come from social media. Um, I like to perfect everything. So if any classes I see coming up, I would enroll into a class. And with the wigs, I usually only make wigs upon request. Um, but I know I can have more money coming in if I just make them and just have them like, oh, yeah, I got a wig. You want to come pick this wig up? Oh, okay. You know, yeah, people, exactly. people book for wig construction and that's when I make them because I'm still, you know, working versus just having them on hand. So just being more, um, using, my, yeah, using my time. You just being diligent. Okay. All right. So what we left off with? Oh, yeah. Um. Yeah, just being more content. Sometimes I do hair and won't take a picture of nobody. And it's not because I don't want to, it's just because I'm so busy, I, I forget that. You're in the moment. The, yeah, the social media is really like one of the biggest platforms to bring in my clients. So, yeah. so is there like a special uh, sewing machine that you got to get? For, okay, uh, for so wings? they have a Rolls Royce sewing machine. <laughs> like. If you had to compare it to an automobile, they have a Rolls Royce of the sewing sewing machine. Like the same and then they have um, what's the what's the cheap car? Pants uh, Okay, yeah, they got that. So um, I use the Singer. That's what I was taught to use when I took my class. Okay. Um, they have different types, though. They have a classic. They have some that's used for upholstery. They have some that's used for like you know like different stuff. So they all have different uses and functions and stuff like that. Um, they also have one that's called the Viking that kind of goes hand in hand with the singer. Uh, yeah, they they pretty much used for upholstery. You can make clothes and stuff. Cause some of them are just used for like sheets or you know, that's not it wouldn't be strong enough to make a wig with. But we build we using we using a certain machine that's gonna make these wigs last. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, how long does it take for you to make just one wig? Now, I would say like 20, 25 minutes. What? Yeah, you like a tattoo artist when it comes to me. It's really? big. So like how, when you first started, how long was that? Like a couple of days or something? A couple of weeks? Okay, so before I learned how to make them on a sewing machine, I was making them by hand. Oh, okay. Like, so as I would like, the same way you would do a sewing hand with needle and thread, I was sewing onto a cap, onto like a canvas head, right. like that. So when I learned how to do sewing machine, I'm like, oh yeah. I'm gonna learn this like for real because I don't got time to be sitting, sitting around doing this. So now when I just start, it's just it's it flow. Okay. Now, when I first started on my sewing machine, probably like an hour and a half, just because you gotta worry about the speed of the pedal and if you're going fast enough. With it's a lot, it's a lot to go into. It. Okay. All but right. you know the game is to be sold, and I told so y'all better come to a class. Exactly. I was about to ask you. Uh, I know, I think you hosted a class last year. Will you still be hosting classes and stuff like that? So this year, January was my first class yeah. ever. Um, it was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I will have another class. I, I really like one on one better than um, a class because I can cater to each person like 
in detail versus just like running back and forth. Like, okay, you want me to support? Okay, let me see what you, you know, some people mm -hmm. move at different paces. So it was just a lot, a lot went into it. Um, it was fun. It was a good, I probably would do another one, but not like some of my colleagues and stuff like that. Okay, so uh, like, do you do business with some of your other colleagues? Like, yeah, you know, one of my best friends, um, Janice, her name is J Nice Hair Co on Instagram. She really taught me the game. She taught me everything I know. She, okay. she is the one who I learned how to make the wigs from. Um, I saw her doing them and she like, Kid, you gotta start doing this. You gotta get on, you know what I'm You gotta get some money, some real money. So when she had her next class, you know, I enrolled. You know, if you pay, it's close to a band, but you learning something that you gonna make a whole bunch of money off of. So, um, signed up for that class. And it had to be like in maybe 2018 or 2019. Um, yeah, she taught me everything. That's, that's my girl. We talk about everything together, clients, um, business um, moves, you know, like what's next, what's products, trying to sell, everything. Like, that's, that's, my, that's my day one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's a lot of different other people, too, but that's the one I'm closest to. Right, right, okay. So, um, as far as when people get products from you, is it just like how it is, like in that box right there? Yeah. Yeah, so when I, I like to package my extensions and my wigs for shipping. Initially, I got these for shipping because okay. the post office will shove some, you know, people paying seven hundred eighty dollars for a wig, you don't want to get it smushed oh, up in the bag. So yeah, I got these boxes um, so, so you can, you know, so your product can be packaged like representing what you paying for. And yeah, I also package my extension in, in, inside of these when they pick up. Um, yeah, unless they just give me, if they appointment, get me put into their head, I like to package everybody hair and wigs in these boxes. Okay, so, so you, that means you did the one on your head, right? Yes. Ooh, so, like, did you, did, did it start off brown and you did black? It started off black, it's just like this. Okay. And then, I just added some like highlights to it. Yeah. And you can do any color. You can get this hair can turn pink, um, purple, whatever color you want to. Mm, okay. So on average, how long does somebody gotta sit in your chair for uh, a wig install? A wig install? Like an hour. Okay. That's okay. easy. That's easy. That's what that's what I like doing. Okay. Uh, my so longest, what's the tedious? Uh, like a frontal sewing. Okay. What that mean for us in the back? So I have to braid the hair down, cornrows. Um, I have to bleach the lace that I was telling you about. Mm -hmm. I have to bleach the other side of it using hair bleach, not chloride. Not yeah, yeah, Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't hitting the lights off. Here. Yeah, you ain't hitting yeah. the lights off. We got you. Um, then I have to pluck, which is creating more of a realistic like hairline for the lace. I know, I know. Um, and I had to put the lace on, sew the lace down, and then sew the tracks in, and then style, and they got a, I got a mold. It's a lot. I got to mold the stocking cap down. You seen the girls who like they bald head mm -hmm. cap? You got to do that part. Then you got to do baby hairs. It's a lot. So you a surgeon? Mm hmm Yep. I'm changing my yeah. hair. Oh my. All right. So uh, I. I see also that, you know, everybody knows, you know, you're, you're a single mother. You know, you still got time to go and, uh, you know, spend time with your kid and still support all his activities that he want to do. How do you, how, how is it balancing that? Um, I'm really just now figuring that part out. Like, I'm 24. I had my son when I was 16. And that, working and balancing, like, being a parent is really hard because I was just, like, working nonstop. Even on my off days, I come in. But um, uh, just recently this year, I told myself I'm not going to be working like that, especially when I don't have to. So I'm doing Sunday, Monday, Tuesdays off. Mm -hmm. My clients hate it, but it's Sunday, Monday, Tuesdays off. It's necessary because I have to spend time with him. I had a, you know, he got football games, he got different stuff he got to do. So, yeah. Especially now with the, with, the, with the virtual learning and all that, that's, that's a whole other beast within itself. Yeah. So, like, how have you been managing with that? that? It's hard. I ain't gonna lie. 
Don't do it. Zero out of five stars. Do not recommend it. <laughs> Zero out of five stars. Okay, so three years from now, you'll be 25 and What What is Crown by Key looking like? What is it? Where, where are we at? It, are we opening up stores? Are we in Atlanta now? Are we in Hollywood? Are we in Burbank? Where are we at now? Uh, I have a goal of opening my own like salon space with mm -hmm. different hairstylists, with different um, types of clientele. Um, three years? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe three, maybe five. Um, right now, I just, I, I really just, I'm going with the most, trying to see how everything progresses. But it's looking good. I'm by myself right now. I like being by myself. I like giving my clients an intimate city. Mm -hmm. um, but I do. I do want to be in a space that's like a, a home for different types of people with different types of hair. And they want different types of hairstyles. Okay. So, uh, since the government is watching everything else online, they can go ahead and watch this. What do you need from the United States federal government as far as funding? They can help you out with anything. Uh, you know what I'm saying? What do you need from the government? I'm really mad I missed out on the SBA loan. I need that ten I need them ten million. So <laughs> you didn't get it? No. I was I didn't know. My mama was like, don't do it. People were going to jail. I don't know. I didn't do it. We'll, we'll have a conversation about that okay. Uh but so even though you did not get the SBA loan that the top hundred companies in America got you were still able to thrive and spend time with your child and figure out stuff for the future during the pandemic. Yep. It was a blessing. Sounded like it was a pandemic to me. Pandemic, for sure. All right, well, is there anything else that you want the people to know? No. Make sure y'all book, shop, stop by, out at Crown by King, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Crown by King. And everything okay. will be at the end and in the descriptions also. This has been RJ Keep It A Band. And if you keep it a band with me, I'm going to keep it a band with you. God made you for your purpose, and you have to fulfill that. And my sister here, it looks like she's fulfilling hers. Y'all be blessed.